to Rick Semler and Casey Miller. Welcome back to In the Paint. Two of the hottest teams in the area met tonight. Bar Reef, with their 11-game winning streak, faced a Bloomfield team that has won five in a row. We also had Vikings head coach Jeff Thompson going up against his old high school coach at Bloomfield and Ron McBride. Who would win, the mentor in McBride or the pupil in Thompson? Let's check out the action from Bloomfield. Cardinals missed the three. Gabe Gladys tracks down the ball, starts the break. He finds as Isaac Wagler in stride for a layup. Barry for nothing. Bloomfield only had three baskets in the first half. This was pretty. AJ Sipes goes up and under for two. Barry ends the first quarter on an eight nothing run. Bryson Graber back door to Gabe Gladish, the senior with a sweet reverse. Vikings 12-4 after one quarter. Austin Ainsco money from deep. That capped an 11-0 run. Bikes up 15-6 at the half. Bloomfield would catch fire behind the arc in the third. This trifecta from Turner Royal draws the Cardinals to within two at 22-20. The cards would keep momentum. They get this hoop right before the third quarter buzzer. Bloomfield only down 27 24 going to the fourth. Final quarter, all Bar Reeve. Bryson Graber owns the Bar Reeve single season assist record. See why there. Nice dime to Isaac Wagler, who finishes with a reverse. Bar Reeve had the lead late. Hard team to trap because they pass so well. You see it. Keegan O'Neill, two of his 12. Bar Reeve wins 42 34. What do you say? I mean, there's a machine. Bloomfield's playing great basketball. They beat Washington last week. And the Vikings go in there and win their 12th straight. There's a, a reason that Bar Reeve is ranked second in Class 1A. They continue to, to show that they've got some real talent. But don't discount this Bloomfield team. No. These are both two squads that uh, we're going to be watching very and, close. And I tell you what's amazing. is I was at this game tonight, everybody knows about Gabe Gladys, Keegan O'Neill. They didn't have their best games tonight. Their role players are tremendous. I mean, Bar Reeve is four or five guys that good luck trying to stop. You mentioned Bryson Graber as the mm -hmm. uh, single season assist leader. We've seen him dish the rock very well. And oh. Bar Reeve, a very talented squad who's going to make a lot of noise in the postseason. Oh, yes. That's right. Well, we go down south. Washington looking to keep its momentum going against Evansville Memorial. The Hatchets have beat the Tigers two of the last three years. Let's go to the Hatchet House. It's senior night. Washington against Evansville Memorial. First possession. Loving the extra pass here. Tyson right to Bryce Browning. Corner three, the Hatchets strike first, then just get it inside to the big man. Browning draws the help. Hunter Killian strong to the rim. You could tell early on that this one would be a battle. Later, Killian doing work in the post. He makes a nice move to the inside. Finishes. Old school. Yeah, a little soft touch there off the rim. He puts up 13 points. Washington moving the ball very well in the first. Right picks up another assist. That time it's Grant Niehaus from downtown. He's doing it all. Niehaus drives baseline here. A great reverse finish from the junior. He's got Washington with an early lead. He led the Hatches with 16 points. Late in the first, Wright's pass deflected. Battle for the ball. Memorials. K. Grant finishes through contact. That's a big time and one. Like I said, this one was just a complete battle. It took overtime to find a winner, but Evansville Memorial, they come out on top. The Tigers down the hatchets, 58-56 to in OT. Well, Vincent's Lincoln trying to snap a three-game losing streak. Alice is at home against Evansville North. Third quarter, it's go time for Lincoln. Brody Ruggles zips it to Ethan Bushy for the inside score. Lincoln up by just three. Ruggles finding everybody out there tonight. Isaac Lane receiving end of the pass there. That's coming right at the camera. He finishes that one no problem for the Alice. No worries. Scared me a little bit. Later in the third, Hunter Hopwood, he drives inside, beats his man, drops it in off glass. Lincoln is just rolling in the third quarter. The run continues. Ruggles to Lane. He beats a triple team. The defender adjusted the shot there, but he gets the and one. Lane goes for 23 points and nine boards. Then closing seconds of the period, Hunter Hopwood, volleyball line three. You know, called it. of course it goes. <laughs> Lincoln goes on and get this a 14 to two run to close out the third quarter. And well, that's how you win ball games. When, when Lincoln's on, they're a very dangerous ball club. They're just, just, I mean, they're kind of like IU up and down roller coaster this season. <laughs> that's right. But the Alice's, hey, they go in to get the dub tonight. They're saying what losing streak in Vincennes. Yeah. Lincoln takes it 68 to 51 the, over the Huskies. The Alice's know I love them down south. A win tonight <laughs> would give South Vermillion back to back winning a regular season. The Wildcats hosted Paris. South Vermillion was hot from the get-go, and this was the guy leading the charge. Bryce Gilman 
One of his five threes in the game. He's a shooter. He is. Sal V knew who had the hot hand and kept feeding Gilman the ball. The kid, a sharp shooter. He had 22. Paris beats the Sal Vermillion pressure. Now watch this. They get it to Matthew Brower. Finally collects it. Didn't see this coming. Oh, oh. Slams it home. Oh, elevate. Nice finish, Matthew. Wow. John Piper says no more dunking in my gym. Paris tests him going to the tent. He says, get that Ooh. shot out of here. What a block by the South Vermillion sophomore. South Vermillion hit nine threes in this game. Bryce McLish playing his final home game, drains three of his 16. South Vermillion wins big, 74-45. The Wildcats clinch back-to-back winning season. Still to come, we have highlights from Marshall's big regional championship game. And I'll tell you what, it went to overtime. Yeah, that it did. An exciting finish there. Plus, the ISU women looking for road wins as well as Indiana basketball. Find out what went down when in the paint returns.